Oh, I'm, I'm unfortunately out of the game. I lost to Doc Sayu. He is uh, an amazing Kazuga player. He's really good. Um, absolutely knows his uh, command inputs and everything. And he just, we go even pretty much every time we play. We go even. Um, but, you know, at the last match, he just got super aggressive. And I'm a DDD player, so, you know, it's very hard to deal with it. But it was close. It was close. I agree, man. And, yeah, we, we actually watched you on, on stream here as DDD. And Okay. All right, we'll do both. Gotcha. Okay. But I mean, uh, I, can I can help commentate. Yeah, it's up to you. Uh, we'll, we'll bounce back and forth. I'll, I'll just ask questions uh, right now, guys. We do have uh, Mosey versus Crimson. Uh, that is, Crimson is the president of Marshall Smashers currently, uh, and they're they're about tied on scores. But uh, I did want to ask you, Oops, um, but what's your prediction like right now? If you for looking right here, I'll put on our predictions. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and you'll see what your uh, your opinion is here. They have absolutely. Crimson Arrow versus Loge on these finals, mm -hmm. and then uh, Quintessence versus Methods of Madness. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Do you think? Okay, uh, so Loge versus Crimson Arrow is going to be a very hype match. Um, honestly, Loge has been one. Loge is one of the top players in the state. Um, he's ranked on PR, and so is Crimson, so they're both PR players. Um, it'll be very close, but Loge is seated to take it all. That's true. And, and I would put money on it, but Crimson, if anyone can do it, it will be Crimson. Alrighty, that's, that's, that's pretty crazy right there to think about, that Crimson would beat Loge, but I'm excited to see that fight in general. Absolutely. Uh, it looks like right here, we're, we're pretty even on the scales right now. They're both two stocked out. Mosey is at 32% uh, and Crimson's at 129.1%. Very, oh, knocked yeah, off. Crimson was looking to get off the ledge and just couldn't. Wow, wow, one to two right there, man. Um, now, I do say, we watched you play King DDD, and you were a very, very good King DDD we were watching. Uh, we were talking about how um, how buff players, like the bigger players, um, or champions tend to be like powerhouses, and they're really, like, really, really hard to get off the map sometimes, yeah, yeah. and just to really deal with. So if you had to give any tips or like uh, anything like that to deal with like heavier opponents, okay. how would you, how would you? So, in general, heavyweights, um, is, is what we call them in this yeah. game, the heavyweights, like you said, they're more powerful. They have more survivability, but they most of the time they can't handle aggressive hits. Yeah. If you get in versus them and just keep on comboing them over and over and over again, they have a very hard time escaping. Or you can outrange them. If they don't have good projectiles, you can stay in the corner and just absolutely camp them out. Now the issue with that is if you get a King K rule, and a King K rule has pretty medium medium ranged uh, projectiles there. He does. Um, and he can he can like amazing recovery. I mean yeah. his helicopter head is just crazy. Yeah, because if you want to watch a good a King K rule player, we have Breezy. He's yeah. here today. He's a uh, number nine and ten on the PR. He's got both. Um, he did unfortunately lose the quintessence, which is well. He didn't. He hasn't lose yet. That's an upcoming match. Oh, he actually it, won it, against Death Star. The, yeah. So if it's orange, it's the um, yeah. That's, that's what right. they're saying. So that's that's very interesting. Hopefully yeah. we will get to uh, commentate over these last four. Yeah. But uh, people Hopefully. are saying they want um, Cipher to beat Method of Madness. Oh and, wow. And they said that Cipher's main is Lucina. Yeah. So. Uh, I, I'm trying to remember. I don't. You can. Know. Yeah, I can see. And it looks like Crimson did win versus Snake. Very good for Crimson there. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I will say that um, I, we were in there when we were watching Loge versus Frozen, and, I mean, that was an intense Absolutely. fight, man. Like, to the T, everything they did mm -hmm. was almost back, but Loge with Daisy, man. Yeah. Frozen is one of the uh, top Wi-Fi banjo players. Yeah. Um, he, he did a huge online stint d during the COVID. Um, pandemic and he just got really good on banjo. So. Wow, I mean he is very good. We we sitting here watching, but just absolutely. Loge is Daisy, especially his Lo toad counter. Lo absolutely. Wow, Loge is absolutely crazy. I'm um, coming back to the match here. Uh, Crimson versus Mosey coming in on either round two or three. Uh, this is round two of the, their fight. Uh, pretty interesting we have right now. Uh, it looks like they're doing pretty well against each other. These two. We haven't seen any snakes today, and so... Mosey got the early mm. SD, unfortunate. Couldn't get the recovery there, Could sadly. Mm. Tried to do the uh, mine recovery and just would not work. Yeah. We've seen a lot of players actually get, uh, like, lose their game to recover. We had mm -hmm. one, like, really, really good player uh, um, happen to, like, two in a row recoveries. They just oh, wow. knocked off. We had a Ganondorf versus a Little Mac, and we both know how Little Mac's <laughs> recovery rate is. We also uh, know how bad Ganondorf is, but oh, that's yeah. neither here nor there. But... Uh, we really suspected Ganondorf to win with this, especially with this power move he has, yeah. where it just it just wrecks. But shockingly enough, Lil Mac came out with the victory. Well, I mean, if you want to talk about you know tier list and frame data, Lil Mac 
is absolutely better than Ganon just because of how fast he moves. Yep. He has better frame data. Yeah, he does. It really doesn't matter how heavy a character is if you just can't get in. Yep, yep. So. And his, his KO in general just was destructive. I mean, that, absolutely. we were comparing um, Lomac to Kazuya, and we were saying that Kazuya is basically like Lomac's big brother with his uh, rage driver. Um, we, were, we were comparing the two. And it's just absolutely disgusting. Kazuya is just overall an amazing character, too. Like, yeah, I mean, how, what do you think is going to win out of this? The, the, the player's choice, like our comments are saying that Mosey will win this. Uh, and unfortunately, Crimson's taking a lead here. He's playing he's playing super well, and Mosey cannot just get in. Both of these characters like to stay at range, but unfortunately, Crimson's doing a, a better job at the moment. That's true. And that is unfortunate with Mosey's early SD. But yeah. Now, now, do you know if this is Crimson's main? This is Crimson's main. Okay. He plays Min Min and he plays Young Link, and I don't think he's brought out the Young Link today. He has not. We've been watching him. Uh, we, we've been keeping an eye on Crimson, Loge, and uh, Frozen, but mm -hmm. as you see, Frozen just got rocked off, so. Mm -hmm. But I, I will say, do you have any, like, final comments or questions you'd like to ask on, just before we uh, we cut off this interview? Uh, no. Uh, thank you for having me on. I appreciate it. Anytime, man. We, we love having everyone up here, and we will be doing this uh, annually, so we would love for you to come back, and uh, we're going to have a lot more competition next year. It'll be a lot more fun. Absolutely. As, as one of the tournament organizers for this state, you know, we really appreciate you all running this for us uh, and, and we, we are always happy to help. Literally anytime uh, we're the, our esports team is really trying to get